Hi, this is JB Lennox and welcome back to my channel. So this is part three, I believe. Yeah. So we're continuing on with making spaghetti squash. So here we go. So the squash has been in here now for 20 minutes. It's been in the oven. Here we go, nice and baked. Look at those buns. Oh yeah, we like those. How you like them apples? Now, oh goodness. Okay, so your squash will look like this, of course. Then we have our sauce. We just made a mess all over the stove, so don't worry about that. Now, here we go. All right, guys, spindle this over. Oh, it smells so good. Actually, it smells, <laughs> believe it or not, it kind of smells like french fries. It's weird, but it smells good. It smells really good. It smells actually like potatoes. It smells like potatoes. That's very weird. Oh, but it smells wonderful. So, this is what the inside of a spaghetti squash looks like when it's been baked for about 20 minutes. And this is before we start tearing it up. So now, I don't, I don't have my stand people. I kind of left it. So you're looking at me from um, a down low up version instead of a up high down. So yeah. Yeah, we're working with what we got today. So, um, now we're going to be using two forks. And you're just going to drive the fork into here and you're just going to see it turn into spaghetti. It really does. It looks like spaghetti. Wow. What a miracle. This is awesome. I really do hope you guys actually get to try this for yourselves because it really is quite nice. in here because the thing wants to wiggle around on me and I'm trying not to like have it fly off. Yes, I just went for it, people. I started using my bare hand. I was like, here, I'm gonna just lift this parchment paper up with my bare hands. Lift the squashes up with my bare hands. I be cooking, so sometimes you can get away with doing that, but I don't recommend that for people.
of people watching at home. Unless you're used to this. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, now we have spaghetti, spaghetti squash. Isn't that just beautiful? Okay, so. Hmm. Okay, so now. And we're gonna go revert back to our sauce. It's just been sitting right here for like, you know, just a little minute. You know, one, one jar was actually really, really, really a lot for this. Um, it was actually like way too much. You know, uh, that can actually feed six people, that one jar alone. So if you have, you know, more more in your family a bigger family you can get three of these squashes and one of those jars should be able to feed at least six people or uh, per three spaghetti squashes so my calculations are correct so here so we're just gonna go ahead and add our little sauces on it and yes we are nice and beautiful So natural cheese, that's free. Now, no matter what kind of cheese I've been looking at, now I think the feta cheese was actually like the healthiest that I had seen. I'm just gonna put very little, very light cheese on mine because I cheese just is not healthy for you. But for this video, we're gonna get, we're gonna go ahead and eat it anyway, cause you know it just it just looks scrumptious and it's for the recipe. And you know, every now and then it's okay to have a little bit of cheese, I guess. But yeah. Um. Dang. Yeah. But for my kids, we're gonna go a little heavier on this one, cause the, the boy likes the cheese. Likes the cheese, like cheeseburgers. He he likes all that good stuff. So, um, he can handle all that. I'm not in my teens. I'm not in my twenties, so it ain't like I could burn it off as quick. It took me a long time to lose some weight, and yeah, he's. He, he actually wants to put on weight, so okay, so we, 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 we could do that. But he does eat very healthy, and I'm glad he does. So before we stick this back into the oven, this will go into the oven for about 10 minutes, right? Before this video ends. Stick it in the oven for 10 minutes, pull it out, and then when you pull it out, you can go ahead and stick it on a plate and then you could serve it and yeah from there you can either let it sit for a minute or not um and just start eating it like that spaghetti squash and there it is there and i'll get back to you with the next video thank you for watching